Hello YouTube, this is Callum from English Shooting. Um, as always, this is a video that I've been meaning to make for a very long time. I get asked to make fairly often. Um, today, in fact, actually, which sparked me to come home from work, finally get everything out of the safe, put it out on a table and show you guys what's in my safe. What do I own um, at this very moment in time? Now, for a bit of admin, the uh, guns that I have owned and used to own. Um, the first one that got me into shooting was the Beretta 92FS, uh, the Umarex uh, air pistol in uh, 177. Absolutely cracking little pistol, loved it, great fun. Um, I own the uh, 686 um, Smith & Wesson revolver, I think that had the 6 inch barrels on and that was in um, chrome. Again, that was made a lovely loud bang. Sold the air pistols. I also had the BSA R10 in 177. Uh, again, cracking air rifle. My granddad now owns that exact rifle. Um, and I get to shoot that you know, now and then when I go around his. Um, and I have at one point owned a Remington 870 pump action shotgun. I picked up for like 200 quid, uh, 250 quid. Um, had a bit of a play with it, sold it on. Um, but yeah, to the to the present and to the now, um, everything you see, uh, apart from one which I will crack out in a, in a minute, everything you see here is what I own. Um, now there are going to be two guns that you probably haven't seen before already on the table, but I'll go from the front and work my way back and then to the last one that I've, um, I'm keeping out of view for now. Um, so the first one I think you'll be very familiar with, um, and that is my Beretta Silver Pigeon. Just to say, all the guns have been verified, clear, they're all safe. Um, so my Beretta Silver Pigeon won Sporting Edition in 12 gauge. The first gun that I actually bought, like first proper firearm, I got my shotgun certificate, um, and then for my 21st birthday, got this, um, it was a gift from my parents, um, incredibly lucky and incredibly grateful, um, absolutely love the gun, shoots brilliantly, I've raved about it plenty of times, brilliant starter gun for anyone looking to, to get into clay pigeon shooting, um, you know, it can be used for clay pigeons, you can go out and shoot pheasant, you can you know, do anything you, know, you want to with this uh, shotgun, absolutely love it, I think it's a pretty beautiful shotgun as well, lovely wood, um, I have to say the new silver pigeons don't I, in my opinion, don't have as nice a wood as the older ones, i.e. the one that I got. Um, but that's just personal preference. Yeah, I think it's a cracking gun to, to keep in the safe and, and use regularly as I do. Now, the next shotgun, which I know I haven't shown, um, is just this single, um, single shot, single barrel. Uh, it's, it's a wreck. It's an absolute wreck. It's a heap. Um, I've never actually shot it before but it has huge sentimental value because this is actually my granddad's shotgun um, that when he found out that I had my license, he gave to me, um, you know, signed it on, on to me and I keep it in the safe. I, I've taken it down the shop for them to inspect it. They've said it's good to go, good to fire. I really do need to, to shoot this, um, you know, because even my mum, because um, my, my granddad is my mum's father. Uh, my mum shot this gun and my auntie shot this gun um, and you know it's my granddad that really got me into shooting or got my interest in shooting so I really want to you know pay respect to him and uh, and shoot it at some point even get him down the range um, and maybe shoot it with me again. Um, so it's actually a, a hammer action um, gun just a real wreck really beaten up the bluing on it's absolutely horrible but I'll never get rid of it. Um, it's just something, you know, it's not worth anything. I don't think it's even got any um, maker's marks on it. It just says Spain on it. Um, yeah, but it's sentimental, so I'm going to keep it. The next one you may have seen in the odd video. I haven't made a video about it. Um, it is a Zabala. I uh, just had to check there. Again, also made in Spain. Now, this isn't actually my shotgun. Um, it's on my license, kept in my safe, but it's actually a friend called Nathan. Um, who went clay pigeon shooting with me and, a, and another friend and basically went like, right, I want my own shotgun, you've got yours, you've got yours, I want my own one um, when I come down. So he bought this for 300 quid at Portsmouth Gun Centre. I look after it and whenever he comes clay pigeon shooting, he uses it. He is going to get his licence at some point to, um, to 
take it over, you know, but it's just a 12 gauge um, over and under. Uh, and to be really honest, I think it shoots as well as the Beretta. Okay, it's not got a fancy stock, it's not got all the bells and whistles, it doesn't look as nice and sort of feel as nice. But in terms of shooting, I can shoot perfectly well with this. Um, and that's why I made a video quite a long time ago saying that 300 quid is a good amount to spend on a on you know a basic shotgun you're going to get something fairly decent um so that is all the shotguns um you know only one that i really shoot regularly uh, in there uh, so now we're moving on to the rifles um again i think you're going to be more than familiar uh, with these three already on the table but i'll go through them nonetheless um so I've got my Seiko uh, Quad Synthetic, it's the thinner barrel, um, you can get it in a varmint thicker barrel, but this is a thinner barrel. Obviously the main feature about the Quad is that you can interchange the barrel, there's four different calibres that these can use, uh, different magazines as well for those. It's just a bolt action in this form, a bolt action 2-2 long rifle. Um, I do absolutely love it, I think it's a cracking little rifle, really accurate, uh, really well made. Um, I can't fault it really, uh, but I am going to sell it um, and one of the reasons I was making this video was because I still have it at the moment. It is up for sale if anyone's interested. Um, I've got it on Gun Trader at the moment. Um, I'm getting rid of it because I don't shoot it enough. Um, you know, I've moved into full bore um, and you know, other things, your practical shotgun, so on and so forth. And it's a great little training rifle. It's what I get everyone to shoot for their first time, but you know, I you know, not to sound harsh, but I don't want to keep a gun for other people, you know, especially one that's you know, worth around sort of the four or five hundred pound mark. You know, I'd rather sell that and get something that I'm actually going to use on a you know, weekly basis, um, you know, and get value out of. So I am going to sell it. Um, it's got a Hawk um, scope on it, I believe. I just double check. It's a three by three by nine by fifty. Um, crack a little scope. Um, I got that second hand for sort of twenty, thirty quid off of a of a forum. Again, the whole package is brilliant. I can't fault it. You put a bipod on it, I'll shoot with it all day um, and you know, put bullet through bullet with it and with, with absolute ease. Um, but I just don't get the, the use of it. I like sort of, I'll say the funner stuff. Um, so yeah, I just don't get the use. I always, you know, if I only have certain space in, in the car for one rifle, I'm always going to grab the Smith over this. Um, so I just don't want to keep it around not getting used. I'd rather someone else get use out of it. Um, now a gun that I know you're all going to be very familiar with, um, albeit with a new addition, is the Smith & Wesson 1522. Um, yeah, I don't really need to say a lot about this, um, because I talk about it enough, I've made plenty of videos on this. Um, it's, I think, one of the best 2-2 um, semi-automatics there are. Um, I think most people will agree you either have to have one of these or a Ruger 1022. Well, I don't have a 1022, so I've got one of these. Um, I've got the um, Vortex Viper 1x4x24, uh, even illuminated reticle. Um, absolutely love this scope. Um, crystal clear, um, shoots like a dream, um, and I love it so much. I sold the, uh, the uh, EOTech even. Um, I knew I'd have to make a choice between this and the EOTech um, and this one. Um, I just think, all in all, it's a, a cracking package, cracking scope, um, and with this gun as well, I just have endless amounts of fun. Um, obviously, I've had countless accessories added onto this, changed the stock, put these, um, put the uh, foregrip on, um, you know, put these covers on, I've got the bipod, but the newest accessory, which some of you may have seen, um, is the moderator, because obviously I recently had my variation back, I can now actually legally put this moderator on this gun and shoot it. Um, obviously I haven't shot it, honestly I haven't shot it before I put it on there because that would just be silly and I've got nowhere really to shoot it um, out of prying eyes. But yeah, that's the newest addition to this rifle and I think all in all with a shortened barrel as well obviously, um, great little package, um, would be, honestly would, would be one of the last guns I ever sell. Um, now moving forward to the more recent addition, um, certainly one of the more expensive uh, additions overall, is the Remington 700. Um, now again I've talked about this quite a lot, still need to make a review video of it, um, but I'm getting on with it really really well. It's in 308, um, this thing can shoot, uh, it can outshoot me. Now I know I've had the issues going out to a thousand yards, um, I know that's me and the ammunition. Up to 600 yards I can beat a lot more expensive rifles than this. I was next to a 
300 Win Mag, um, an Accuracy International AX 300 Win Mag, you know, the complete system with the scope, you're talking five, six thousand pound, and I shot the same score with this. Um, and, you know, it's, again, it's not just the rifle, it's got the scope on it as well, and that's another Vortex Viper. Um, and this is, I'll just double check, the 6 uh, by 24 by 50. Um, and again, it's just just phenomenal. Um, I really cannot rate uh, Vortex enough and again I still need to do reviews of these scopes um, and it's not doing them justice not doing the review because I've got so many good things to say about them absolutely crystal clear. Um, yeah, The whole package cost me I think with the scope around the £1200 mark I think it was about 4 four fifty for the scope and then 8 eight fifty for the um, uh, for the actual rifle, um, it's pretty bog standard. I've obviously got the Harris bipod on there. Um, it's had, um, it's been recrowned. Um, it's had the tactical bolt handle on and various other planes with, um, with the rifle. But apart from that, it's bog standard. Um, the exact model is the SPS um, varmint, um, so it's got the thicker barrel on there. But yeah, I I absolutely love it. It's. Um, brilliant fun and can really put a smile on your face going out to some really long distances. So that's the uh, sort of last of the known ones and ones that you've seen before. Now anybody that's been on my Facebook um, and seen the particular bruise, which I think I still have, um, would know that I also, after picking up my, or getting my certificate back, I've picked up another rifle, a new addition. Um, and just sort of like my granddad's old shotgun, it's a battered old girl, uh, certainly an old girl, um, and that is of course a Mosin Nagant um, in um, 7.62x54R, and she does kick. Um, I absolutely enjoy sh shooting her, um, you know, I've only put sort of 10, 15 rounds down her, um, and she left me with quite a big bruise, but it was fun. Um, I don't think people should be intimidated of the Nagant. I think people should just be aware that she uh, she kicks. Um, but it's a cracking rifle, really. Uh, uh, you know, it's it is what it is. It's a 300 quid Russian surplus. Um, I haven't been able to test it properly. I've just been down zero range with it. But you know, stuff like the bolt, the bolt just feels absolutely glass smooth. Um, and you're thinking this is some you know, mass-produced um, surplus rifle. Um, you know, you've got your, the brutality of the metal butt plate there, um, a nice intimidating bayonet on the end, which um, if you watch uh, Iraq Veteran 8888, um, you'll see him, you can actually go and break breeze blocks with this. Um, you know, it's just built to last, built like a tank, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, a video that I do have planned um, that someone actually raised um, when I announced that I'd got this in the other video. That's right, I did do another video on it actually, I lose count. Um, they actually asked, you know, does it make a difference having the bayonet in and out? Obviously I haven't shot it enough yet to, to say, but that is going to be something that I'm going to test very soon and sort of give an answer to, you know, how much of a difference does the bayonet being out make on the accuracy of the rifle. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. Um, you know, I'd say it's a modest collection compared to some. I think I've got, at the moment I've got most angles covered. Um, as I said, you know, recent um, changes. Obviously, I've just bought the Mosin, um, and I'm going to be selling the Seiko, so that will be going hopefully fairly soon. But with that money, I will be putting that towards another gun or using that to buy another gun. Um, so yeah, I think my collection is going to swap and change quite quite a lot over the next year. So I will do another one of these videos. Um, if you want to know anything more about these guns, please just leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll happily do a separate video on a particular aspect if people want to know. Um, you know, I've done review videos of, of most of them. Um, you know, I'm going to do a review video, not that I think it's entirely needed, but a review video of the, of the Mosin. And I need to get around to the Remington and the two scopes, so keep an eye out for those. Um, hopefully get them out soon. But I hope you found this interesting. I've finally given you guys an insight to exactly what I own. Um, a little description of, of each of them. But as always, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you soon.